Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We need to talk about a few things that happened today on FIFA Ultimate Team. I'm not currently on my account, as you notice. I'm on one of my friend's accounts because we're going to actually open up a couple packs at the end of this video, test out some of the 81 plus upgrades from the Premier League and the League One. I know a lot of you guys have questions about those and want to know if they're good, if they're worth it. So we'll do a couple of those and maybe talk about some ways that you can possibly use those to craft SBCs like the Team of the Week upgrade, tradable Team of the Week upgrade, or the uh, base icon upgrade as well. But these two SBCs today, and honestly the upgrades as well, uh, really did a number on the market today. I want to talk through some of those things and especially start to talk about some of the implications that the Super Sunday day today on Sunday could have on the market. Because yes, we just did uh, we just had Black Friday. And they usually run a Cyber Monday promo, but this year they're doing it on Sunday, which they're calling it Super Sunday. So I want to talk through a few of those things as well. We're going to go over to Footbin right away and take a look at this. Take a look at some of the indexes as we do on most videos. And uh, a lot of you guys probably noticed this today. This SBC coming out really killed a lot of the informed prices from this current week's Team of the Week, and especially some of those cards that were in Best of Team of the Week as well. Uh, specifically, you can see this dip here when the SBC came out at 6 p.m. UK. Massive dip that followed. A little bit of a rebound, uh, but this might have been some of the buyback on some of those really meta cards as there was a lot of panic selling before of the Best of Team of the Weeks uh, because they rebounded a tiny bit, but not much. And then possibly a little bit of a rise as people did a tradable SBC uh, for the team of the week. And maybe some of those 82, 83, 84 informs rose a bit as well. But this is an example of a card that got absolutely nailed today in price because of the SBC. Uh, that first hour, again, there was a ton of panic selling. As you can see, Ben Yedder went from about 230,000 coins, which was already very low. He came into the day Friday at 300k, went into packs down to like 240, 250, dropped overnight. And then uh, all of a sudden this SBC comes out as a tradable version and boom, he's down to 180, 185. It's currently a 193. So those cards got hit a lot today. And then Kimmich is an example from this week's team of the week um, that got nailed in price today as well. 78K, boom, down to 48K. So still, still chilling around 52. But a lot of cards uh, took a hit from this SBC that was put out today in the store. Now, one thing I do want to mention is in terms of the market, and the implications that this has. Um, there are no other Team of the Week cards in these two upgrade packs. It's just the current Team of the Week, so Team of the Week 11, and the Best of Team of the Week. I think that's awesome because that does not mean that the uh, some of the Team of the Weeks that are older, like Team of the Weeks 1 through 10, aren't getting supplied through this SBC, which I'm a huge fan of because uh, that makes the ability with those cards to trade with uh, still still very good. I mean, you got guys like this left back tomato card. Whoa, that's a deal right there at 119. I wish I could buy it. We don't have the coins at the moment. Uh, but tomato at 119 right now is cheapest is 135. So that's a pretty nice undercut right there. Uh, but if these cards are back in packs, yes, there'd be more supply for them. So that would drop their price a little bit. Um, but there would be some fresh items as well. Um, but I'm kind of glad that it was just restricted to this week's team of the week. And you're going to see people continue to do these SBCs, the upgrade SBCs this week. I mean, people are going to be selling their weekend league teams um, tonight into tomorrow for the Super Sunday. And over the course of the day tomorrow, they're going to have their coins ready. They're probably going to go out and try a couple of these SBCs. When you got Cristiano Ronaldo, you got um, Mbappe, you got Messi in the best of team of the week that is packable from these SBCs, you're definitely going to have some people that want to go do them. And that makes me want to look at the 83 rated cards on the market. Basically, the requirements for that SBC have gone up a lot since yesterday. Um, when the code was released last night, about 24 hours ago from me recording this, uh, a lot of the 83s were around 1,000 to like 1,500 coins. They jumped up to 2K. They were chilling at 2K before the SBC came out. And now you can see that some of them are like 2.5, 2.6K. Some of them are up at 3K, the ones that have really good links. If you bought 83s and you still have them, good on you because I think you should keep holding these cards. They should continue to rise up. Even though we're going to have a lot of packs on Sunday today, this SBC is out for another four days, the Team of the Week upgrade. So it's going to be out for another couple days after all the packs on Sunday. So, you know, Monday, Tuesday of this week, even tomorrow and Sunday, I think you might see the 83s start to go up in price. 82s as well. Actually, myself on my account, I bought some 82s. 
some Juan Matas. Very linkable 80 rate, 82 rated cards going to get put into a lot of SBCs. This market went shooting up today, so a lot of those have gone up as well. Some of them are around like 2,000 coins. El Shirawi, 2.4K. Um, some of them are only up to like just over 1,000, but some of them are up to around 2K. So let those rise. Let the 84s rise. If you have the SBC fodder stuff, like the 82 to 84s, let it rise a little bit more into this next week because I do think those prices are going to... Uh, to keep trending up. Now, tomorrow, Super Sunday, um, is going to be another time in the market where we're going to have some more packs. We're going to have more flash SBCs. It's basically going to be kind of like a rerun of Black Friday, but maybe a little bit less intense and a little bit less hype. I don't think there's going to be as many flash SBCs, and there probably won't be as many lightning rounds, but there will be lightning rounds again uh, in the store. I think right now we don't have any lightning rounds. We're just having promo packs that have been sitting in the store for a while. They refresh them every once in a while. Uh, but on Sunday today, we will have lightning rounds. I would assume we have the 50K, the 100K, and the 125K packs at 6, 7, and 8 p.m. UK uh, per, per normal. Um, that's the normal time when they run those lightning rounds. So watch out for that. And then flash SBCs as well for packs. So that means another day of supply. So I want to talk a few things, what you can look at today on the market on Sunday, just to kind of get ready for this next week. Of FIFA because after Sunday, after Sunday night, there's a lot of stuff that's going to start rising, a lot of stuff that's going to start going up on this market because people are going to be using those coins to go do SBCs, especially the, it's the team of the week SBC, especially the base icon upgrade uh, and SBCs like that. We're probably going to get more player SBCs uh, either tomorrow or in this next week as well because EA knows they just put a bunch of coins on this market with all the packs that were opened up. People have a lot more coins now from selling cards. And from, um, of course, just opening packs. So I do think you're going to see more player SBCs, probably some flashbacks. We're not technically in player of the month uh, time frame yet. It will be the beginning of December, but usually those SBCs aren't for a couple days. Um, but probably some more flashbacks, maybe another player moments card. I would actually be very surprised if we didn't get another player moments card on Sunday. I think we should get one of those. Uh, so stuff that you guys can look at. Uh, to do on Sunday today to kind of just get ready for this next week. What's going on here? There we go. Thank you. It showed the page. Uh, Fernandinho, 87 rated, the cheapest players by rating. I think it's going to be a great time to do a club stock on Sunday. You're probably going to see the continuation of the sell-off of weekend league teams, uh, and that's something that you're going to uh, possibly into for some investments. And just watching the market go low on that day, but I think it's going to be a great time to do a club stock, 86s, 87s, 88s even some 89s, um, and then watch the prices of the 82s through 84s, just because they're a little bit inflated. They might go up a little bit more on Sunday. They're going to get hit with some supply though, but especially the 85s and up, uh, I think that's going to be a great shout for a club stock uh, today on Sunday as people kind of sell out their teams and uh, we see the end of the weekend league for a lot of people. So that's going to be a good shout to do. And then watch the informs and the out of pack special cards. Like I mentioned, that tomato card that we were just looking at um, that actually had a good deal that we couldn't buy, unfortunately. Um, that's uh, that's the type of card that I would be watching this weekend. If there's any panic selling, if you see that card price dip down a decent amount at all, uh, that's going to be the type of cards that you're going to want to pick up again this week because people are going to have those coins if they sold their cards off tomorrow or today rather for Sunday. Uh, and the Super Sunday promo, then you're probably going to see some sort of buyback. After they're done doing SBCs, they're going to buy their team back for this next week's Weekend League. You're probably going to see the market rise very nicely uh, in these next few days after Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then probably a, a nice healthy jump on Thursday with Weekend League rewards. Um, again, people going out and buying teams after this promo, they're going to have a lot of coins. So I'm a huge fan of cards rising up this next week. So you're probably going to want to get in on a few buys uh, with the out of pack specials and stuff like that um, early this week, earlier rather than later. I'll talk some more about that in my video tomorrow. Um, you know, the market outlook video for this next week, which goes live on uh, Monday mornings. So we'll talk a little bit more about that then. One other thing I want to mention is I don't think we're done with these upgrade SBCs as well. I mean, obviously today, very weird time frame. EA dropped these 81 plus SBCs at like 4.30 p.m. UK. It was like 11.30 a.m. my time really random wasn't expecting it at all i guess they were already in the pack code which is interesting um but they also have not yet dropped the 81 to 87 upgrade or the 82 plus guaranteed 
upgrades. So I'm kind of waiting on those, and I think those are going to come out during this promo. EA wouldn't just add those SBCs into the code if they weren't going to put them out. So I, I do think we're going to see those cards this week, and I do think you're going to see that could be a possible scenario where people start doing those SBCs depending on how they give out and depending on the requirements for that 81 to 87 and for the 82 plus, you might see a lot of people grinding those and it might be an opportunity to go and grind this base icon upgrade with, which people are always a fan of. If you can you know, grind the SBCs, what is it called, crafting? Yeah, people like to craft these SBCs and if that's gonna be an option with the 81 to 87, depending on how good the pack luck is from that, you might see a lot of people doing that this week, which would be very fun and it would be something that we could do for a few days on FIFA post Black Friday that would uh, make the menu game on FIFA pretty fun. Obviously, people are doing these SBCs right now, and I'm going to open a couple of these packs as we talk about it. We have the Premier League 81 plus players packs right here that I want to take open and uh, and take a look at. And also, um, we have a couple of the League One packs as well. So I want to take a, a quick open on these. And hopefully, these guys, these packs have been uh, pretty good for you guys. I'm going to start with the League One players packs first. Uh, I just kind of want to test these out for you guys as well. Thanks uh, to my man CJ for having these on his account. First one, it's going to be a board. It's going to be an inform and it's going to be a walkout. What are we looking at? We just got Kaylor Navas. Let's freaking go. First upgrade pack is inform. Is this 89 rated? 89 rated Kaylor Navas. Let's freaking go. And he's dabbing. Unbelievable. Oh, he stopped the dab. He Now he's shushing. What a celebration. 89 rated Kaylor Navas from the first pack. From the first freaking pack. Let's go. Who else is going to be in this one? What a pull. It's worth it already. It is worth it already. I've heard that these packs are pretty good because there's just not that many 81 plus players that are in the or in the league one. So that's huge. That's a nice 89 rated card sending to the club. G freaking G. We're going to hit another. Um, we're going to hit another league one pack. Here we go. If you guys are getting packs like this, let me know down in the comments because I did not know these were this good. The second one is boards as well, not a walkout. It's going to be Portuguese goalkeeper. It is going to be Gomez. Is that his name? Lopez, not Gomez. 85 rated. Boom. That's another solid pull from an 81 plus upgrade. An 85 rated goalkeeper. SBC fodder, but you'll take it. Two SBC fodder cards. 85 rated Lopez and 84 rated Rufier. I really don't know where I got Gomez. I don't know where I thought about that. Um, but that's a really solid start to these first two packs. Let's freaking go. Uh, pack number three for the league on. It is not a walkout or, or a board rather. So, all right, that's nice. We got 89 rated killer Navas. That's a GG. Uh, let's see what we can get in these, uh, Premier League packs. We have five of these two 81 plus rated players from the Prem. If we could hit, uh, like an informed son, that would be sick. Basically just some boards. High rated stuff, that'd be nice. This this guy that I'm opening packs for, he's got a sick team. So he doesn't need the pack pulls. His pack luck has been immense and insane all year. Nice little green link right there in that pack for SBCs. But also, you like to help people out and you like to pack them good stuff. So let's see what happens right here. Uh, this is not a board. Regardless of what happens in these next few packs, uh, this pack opening has been worth it already. Thank you to Mr. Kaylor Navas, 89 rated. We get Jesse Lingard in that pack. So it looks like for the Premier League pack so far, we're getting a lot of 81s and 82s, which is not the most ideal. Another non-board right there. So we are uh, we're slowing down a little bit, but the League One packs were fire, man. So if this shows you anything from what we've opened today, of course, look at this. Duplicates. Uh, at least that one's tradable. I can chuck it up on the transfer list. Uh, but it looks like to me that the League One packs are going to be the best. But I don't think that you can do a ton of those because you're going to start getting duplicates like we are with the Premier League. But you're going to get a lot of duplicates with that SBC. A walkout from the Premier League pack as well. Salah. No freaking way, dude. Yo, are these packs rigged? 90 rated Mohamed Salah. Unbelievable. Let's go. Let's freaking go, dude. Unbelievable. 89 rated uh, a goalkeeper in form, Kaylor Navas, and now 90 rated Salah. Okay, we did eight packs, man, and this is what we're getting. If this guy's account is just rigged and you guys are getting no good luck like this, let me know. But if this is how these packs are normally, this is ridiculous. 90 rated Salah. Wow. Is there anything else behind Salah in the pack as well? What else do we have here? Jaka. 
LOL. But 90 rated Salah, this is like, like a 200 coin, 200,000 coin untradeable pull. Let's go. Hopefully a super sub for his team. You'll take it. You will take it. And we still have one pack left. We still have one pack left. Huge pack pulls, man. Unbelievable pack pulls from these SBCs. Um, maybe I just got lucky. Again, let me know down in the comments if I just got insanely lucky or if that's how these SBCs are. It's making me want to go try a few of these on my own account. That is for sure. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today. Kind of like a mix up between like a, a market talk. We talked about the SBC, Super Sunday stuff, uh, Team of the Week SBC stuff. And uh, also starting to talk about those uh, kind of the, uh, the stuff we're going to see today with Super Sunday and then after in the next week. But then also opening a few packs as well, which was very fun. So again, if you enjoyed it, smash the thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.